Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name first. And we're dividing each number line into the given fractional unit and then placing the fractions and writing each whole as a fraction. So we have to label for this first one thirds. So between 1, 2, and 3 we need to mark these in thirds and write each whole as a fraction. So one is going to be three thirds and then we would have four thirds here five-thirds here. That's the first one. We have to do five and six and eight. So that's going to be five-thirds. And then this would be, this is a whole number, so we have to label it, and we'd have to label it anyway. Six-thirds here. And then seven-thirds is next. And finally, eight-thirds. And we have to label this last whole number nine thirds. Now sixths. Um, six I usually start with halves and I make each half into thirds and that's your best chance I think of getting them to come out close to looking equal. Uh, now we're doing sixths. So starting with one, one whole is six sixths. Then we need, then we have seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be ten sixths right there. And then eleven, and this one is going to be twelve sixths there. And we're going to keep going till we get to 15 because that's going to be the next one we have to label. So that's 12. 13, 14, there's 15. 15, 6, and then we're going to look for 18 last, which is 15, 16, 17, 18, and that was going to be the whole number, which we were going to have to label anyway, 18 thirds. And now we're looking at fifths, starting at one. Let's see, fifths, we need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one whole is five fifths. And we're going to need seven first, so that's five, six, there's seven fifths. We'll label that one. And then we need to look out for eleven fifths next, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven fifths right there. And two is a whole number, we have to label that, that's ten fifths. And now we have to find 14. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 fifths and 3 is 15 fifths. And now it says use number lines above to compare the following fractions using greater than, less than, a uh, greater than, less than, or equal to. So If you like to label every single part of a number line, you may have already have these things labeled. So let's see. If we're looking at if we're looking at sixths, which one is more? As long as the denominators are the same, 
then it's really easy to compare. We can just look at the numerators, and 17 is more 6 than 15 is, so 17 is greater. And here we're looking at both, they're both thirds, so well, let me zoom back in while we're looking at this. So sometimes we don't need the lines, but we could use them. 7 thirds and 9 thirds. Well, you see, 9 thirds is all the way at the end here at 3. So, and we're just looking at thirds, right? So we're looking at the same units, and 7 is less than 9, so less than. And fifths, as long as we're looking at the same units, we can just say how many do we have. So this is 11 fifths, and that's 8 fifths, and 11 is more than 8, so 11 fifths is more than 8 fifths. And now we're, now we're looking at different units. We're looking at thirds and sixths for this row here. Thirds and sixths. So that's the top two lines. Four thirds. Let me see if I can get a different marker here. Purple. Where's four thirds? Well, let's see. Here's the thirds line. And four thirds is going to be right there. Right? Because it's in between three and five thirds. And then eight sixths is going to be, we've got six, seven, there's eight sixths. Oh, it's exactly the same, so they're equal. We might have guessed that because eight, the sixths are half the size of the thirds, right? Because every two sixths is the same as a third, and there's twice as many of them, so it comes out to be the same. All right, so let's get out the purple marker again. Let me clean that up. And there. I have to get those marks back again. There and there. All right. 13, 6, and 8 thirds. So 13, 6. We already marked that one. It's right here. That's 2. And 8 thirds is way over here. We marked that one already, too. So we're looking at those. So 8 thirds is a lot bigger. So 8 thirds is larger than 13 sixths. And 11 sixths and 5 thirds. So 11 sixths. Let's see. Eleven sixths. This is going to be right here in between 10 and 12 and 5 thirds is over here so 11 sixth is greater and the alligator eats the bigger number and finally we're gonna have to get this a little bit smaller and we're still looking at thirds and sixths all right, just clean that up a little bit. Ten sixths is right here. And three thirds is one whole. That's way over there. So ten sixths is more than three thirds. Six thirds is the same as two wholes. And 12 6 is also the same as two holes. So those are equal. And here's how you can tell. Let's see, here's uh, 12 6 is right here. And the 6 thirds is right there. So they're in the same exact spot where the two holes are. And now we're looking at fifths and thirds. So 15 fifths is the same as three holes, right? And five-thirds is not the same as three holes. Five-thirds is less. We look at the thirds, it's way over here. That's where the five-thirds is. So 15-fifths is a lot more. 
And you can tell it just by looking at... Uh, no, you can't really tell. They're both larger than one. So that's not really a dead giveaway in this case. And we have some more, some bonus word problems here. Use fractions from the number lines in problem one. Complete the sentence. Use words, pictures, or numbers to explain how you made that comparison. Okay. So you get to choose your own fractions. I could make up some answers for this, but really, I'd rather not put them down. Uh, I can talk about some things you could use for examples for these. One of these is going to be a fraction that's greater than another one. This is going to be a fraction that's less than another one. And this is going to be a fraction that's equal to another one. So you can use any of these. To, uh, you can use any of these fractions on these number lines. You could use some of the ones that are in this section right here for less than, greater than, or equal to. Just make sure you get the match of the right symbol with the right comparison. Greater than, less than, equal to. And use, it says use words, pictures, or numbers to explain how you made that comparison. You can do that by, and that's what you do that for all three of these. You can do that by just drawing, redrawing a number line, or you could use tape diagrams to compare the two fractions. You could even do it with, yeah. And then you have to label them. But a, probably a fraction number line is going to be the easiest way to do it. For, for the, to use pictures. If you're going to do that labeled pictures, labeled number lines. We'll explain how you make that comparison. Just remember, if you're going to use that and redraw them here, make sure your endpoints line up. And your whole numbers line up. Those marks have to also match up. And these all start with... They always go. They always go one, two, three for the whole numbers. So you you may need a third part of your number line. So if I was going to do an example one, I need two fractions are equal, and let's start with zero. That's one hole, two holes, three holes, like that. And you could do something that's equal, like you could do uh, halves and fourths, or uh, fourths and eighths. You could do halves and eighths. As long as you pick uh, the right number of eighths, just label your number lines. Eighths are going to be a pain to label because there's going to be a lot more parts to label. So just stick to halves and fourths. That would be easier. Or thirds and sixths. I think halves and fourths are the easiest. And you can do the same thing with this to find your greater than and your less than. Lots of, lots and lots of right answers for these questions. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna I'm gonna label this here. So I'm gonna label this in halves, and I could just label every one: zero, one, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, and this would have to be in fourths. And make sure your two fourths, your even numbers, line up with your halves. There's a fraction right there. There's two fractions that are equal. Then you're always going to have equal fractions at your whole numbers. Four, 
four fourths or eight fourths or twelve fourths. You know, so you could say that four halves is the same as because they're both equal to two. And that would be one way you could do for equal fractions. And you can do just look for other things for greater than and less than. But that's just an example of one thing that you can do. Come up with your own.